Scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from June 26th to July 4th. And remember, this is also timeless, meaning whenever you get to see it will be the right time for you. Okay, so I do have a few announcements to make. If someone out there is looking for a healer, someone that, uh, you know, it removes energies or like attachments or stuff like that that you need help with, or you need a past life regression, or you need to just ask questions, uh, you can reach out to Mark. I know Mark for 10 years and uh, he's been working under my umbrella close to four, four years now, close to four years, I could say. And uh, I never had a bad review from him. A lot of you already used him. He's very good. He's not expensive. There's an email there. You can reach him for anything, if, even if it's just a question that you need to ask. And uh, also, um, you know, if you want to check out his website, you know, and see if he resonates with you, he's there. And another thing I want to say is I'm not doing any personal readings at this time. Okay. So if someone comes to you on any social media, like here on YouTube or on Facebook or on TikTok or on Instagram, and they're DM DMing you and telling you that, you know, you're talking to me and you're like, and there's like, uh, they're asking you for donations, uh, uh, that's not me. It's a scammer. So please be aware of scammers. Please do not be scammed out there because I really hate to see that happening to all of you or some of you that it did happen to. And just know that uh, all you need to do is report them. Okay. Instead of just blocking them, report them first. So we could shut down their accounts and then you could block them. All right. So let's get started with your reading Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well. We're going to start with uh, the wisdom of the hidden realms here, just to give you a message. This one wanted to come out. You got the Rainbow Prince, number 26, which equals to an eight. This is about comp compensation and perseverance. So whatever that you've been persevering and going through a lot of tests in life, the rainbow, the rainbow is here. Okay, that's gonna bring in compensation, all right? Beautiful. I also have, I wanna see here with the cosmic insight, if there's anything else as a message that wants to come to you at this time for Scorpio. Well, the message you got from the cosmic, cosmic insight is open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Open your heart. It will help you to attract more love, Scorpio. All right. Let me see. I'm just going to put this here. Okay. Now we're going to look into your reading. We're going to look at the recent past. We're going to look at the current energy, the immediate future. We're going to look at what's hidden from you. Um, also, we'll give you a tip at the end of it. Okay. Advice. Not a tip. Advice. Sorry. And uh, then we're going to clarify the cards. All right. So let's get started. Two, three. Oh, well, first, before we even get started, I'm going to look at the theme. So the theme will be about the whole reading, you know, what to expect from the whole reading. Okay, for Scorpio. The Queen of Swords. So you're in your Queen of Swords energy. You know what you want here, okay? You're very determined. You're able to cut off people or situations that are no longer serving you. You have been working on yourself, on your independence here, like only, like even like working on yourself. You're very independent here in energy, okay? So, um, very nice. Now let's look at, or you could be dealing with someone that's in the Queen of Swords energy. You're thinking logically here. So let's look at the recent past. You got the Emperor. The Seven of Wands. The Queen of Wands. There was someone here that was being very defensive in the recent past, okay, in a situation here. There could have been some type of commitment or someone wanted to control the situation here. Okay. I feel that there was attraction, definitely. Someone was trying to take action here for sure. 
okay, 100%, but uh, we're going to have to clarify. In the Korean energy, you've got the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. So something is coming into balance and there's a new beginning here. And there's a message that's coming in, okay? Definitely a message coming in. You got the Strength card. And what is hidden, you got the Ace of Pentacles. So there is some type of offer coming in, money. Something here is coming in, something tangible. And the Ace of Cups. This could be a brand new start. Okay, there is love here. You know, there, there's loyalty, that's for sure. In this situation. This could be abundance as well. Let's look at your advice. You got the world card coming to a closure here. You're, com you're coming full circle. You're, so you're going to the next level. Some of you are going to the next level in a situation. In the overall, you got the four pentacles. And you got the nine of cups. There is a soulmate energy here. You're feeling nostalgic about the past as well. You're feeling stuck in your head. There's probably been conflict or drama in a situation here that you truly want. But I do see you've been working on yourself. And there is a message of love coming in. I do notice that. Okay, so we'll put these here for now. And uh, let's clarify here. So it's important to open your heart here because I feel some of you are not opening your heart at this time. Maybe you're not feeling your heart open. Um, there could be uh, holding on to something, holding on to resentment, hurt, per a person or a pattern. Because there, uh, there, uh, there is a wish fulfillment that you truly desire here. Okay, so we're going to clarify the cards and see what's going on here. Oh, my nose is itching. Every time my nose itches in the reading, it's because there's a lot of messages that are going to come through. So uh, just take what's yours and let the rest go. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, look at your other uh, placements. If not, I'll catch you on the next one, okay? But uh, definitely this is, uh, yeah, there's something coming. Karmic, some, karmically, something is coming into justice for you. This is beautiful. Okay, Scorpio. Something is definitely coming into balance here. So let's start off with uh, two, the Four of Pentacles here in the overall. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? For Scorpio. The Six of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Devil. Okay, they could have, these, these could be... It could have been dealing with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Or it could have been dealing with people that were toxic in your life in a situation here. Uh, it could be a soulmate or someone from your past. It could be family members. It could be anybody here, okay? And I do see that uh, the reason why you're shutting down your heart and you're closing your heart here is because a lot of you are going through some type of sorrow uh, at this time, okay? There could have been a heartbreak or something that took place here, okay? But I also see at the same time that you've been manifesting. You've been taking time out, right, to heal, all right so you've been healing and isolating and while you've been going through this you've been manifesting and the wheel of fortune is coming in to bring you something here for you okay so something faded is coming in for you let's look at the, the emperor here all right actually before i look at the emperor we're going to look at the nine of cups what is it that you truly desire here with the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. You're being tested through in, during your, this process here that you're going through, okay? But you're persevering. Maybe you have a lot of options, maybe even in the, in the way that you're feeling right now, Scorpio, in terms of how you're feeling and your emotions, you might be feeling confused here, okay, towards maybe an emperor or, or towards a commitment in any shape, way, or form here, okay? And uh, I do feel that, that something took place here. You had a tower moment. Uh, you know what you want when it comes to the desires of the heart. You're 100%. Maybe you're multitasking. Maybe you're being pulled in two different directions, but you do want stability here, okay? Uh, you want stability in the situation. You want a happy time stability, 100%. Let me look at this two of uh, pentacles here that you have to deal with. Why are you being cold? 
Okay, there he goes. You have you have regret here. There's been regret in a situation, or this is you or someone else, but there's been regret here uh, with this King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands and energy. I do see some type of stability here. I do. Okay, and something coming into alignment. You just have to find the silver lining, and I feel why you chose yourself at the end, okay, in a situation if you're being pulled into different directions or someone did around you, okay? So let's look at uh, the emperor. You got the you got the emperor twice so some of you have aries very strong in the chart or this is the divine masculine maybe you're in the divine masculine okay let's see what this is the seven of cups the nine of wands the three of wands you've been waiting for something here the tower is coming in okay so the tower came in to change something you were worried a lot okay and maybe some of you had to there, there could have been a dead end in a situation where something ended where a completion took place here because there could have been forms of self-sabotage for some of you, you know, thinking the worst of a situation or there's someone here that did not play by the rules, whatever this means here. Okay. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of confusion around this because you've been, you've been tested a lot and, but you've been persevering in a situation here and because you've been manifesting, okay, your ships are right around the corner. You're, you're waiting for something here. You're waiting for a change. You're waiting for something to take place, but the tower is coming in to change that. Let's look at the seven of wands because I do feel there was a sense of someone being very defensive here. Or, or if it's not defensive, someone here that was trying to stand on their own two feet, okay? Stand their ground or stand up for themselves. Why is the seven of wands here? The ace of swords, the queen of swords, there you are. Or this could be someone else and judgment. Yeah. There was a breakthrough that took place in the recent past till now. All right. A breakthrough or some type of communication here. Some type of judgment had to take place as the Queen of Swords came in. Okay. Cut out anything or anything that did not. Uh, that was not for the highest good here. Something is definitely. There, something is definitely coming into balance here and there could be something new coming in but at the same time i feel there was a lot of conflict here there was a lot of conflict and the judgment card talks about epiphanies that are going to take place haha -ha moments you know revelations or a spiritual awakening you're going to be awakening to this you know and finally standing up on your own with this queen of swords while you're healing let's look at the queen of wands be very determined here You got the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of... Yeah, you've been nurturing yourself. Also, putting put a lot of work on in your self-confidence and how you see yourself, how others see you, okay? And there is a wish fulfillment that you still want here. You, as you're going through the completions, as you're going through everything here, and there's a judgment. You are, at this time, taking time out to reflect, okay? And to nurture yourself. I do see that you're solid here. And there is a new beginning. It's about taking a leap of faith. So there's a leap of faith that you will have to take here because you've been manifesting this. And yes, you've been taking time off for a while, but the real fortune is coming in for is coming in here for you, okay? So let's look at the current energy. You got the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Hierophant, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords. The eight of swords yeah so you're feeling stuck about this you're probably in your head about this okay uh you're there is a completion again you got the world card here right so there's a dead end in the situation for some of you this could be marriage it doesn't have to be whatever this energy that keeps coming in out of your life here if there's someone keep that keeps coming in and out or whoever this is here uh or if there is an energy also of 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 um of someone not having your back here okay there could have been the or things have been said or done here you're choosing the higher you're using you're choosing the higher the higher road here in a situation there's a lot of healing with this dead end you're feeling stuck here you're coming in with the world card 
So there is a there's a cycle that's ending and a new beginning here, but you're pausing before taking that leap of faith. Let's look at this four of wands. The sun is shining. You got the two of swords and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you're contemplating at this time. With the lover's card, there could be like a beautiful connection here. Uh, you, you know, uh, someone that, from your past maybe or through social media or networking here. There could be a reunion here. Um, but there's a choice to be made, definitely. There's choices that you have to make and you're contemplating everything. The sun is shining on you, okay, with this four of wands energy. Positive times. But you're in your head about it. You need to open your heart. Okay? You need to open your heart. Something is coming to harvest for you. Let's look at the six of pentacles. You got the strength card. You got the page of pentacles. The king of cups. You put a lot of value into yourself and how you see yourself. Let's say if you've been in a, in a situation where people ne they never saw who you were, who you truly are here, I do see that you put, you've been putting a lot of value into yourself. There is an offer coming in. This could be a job, a friend, a person that's coming in. Um, and I do see that there is loyalty, okay, in this situation. And I do see love. King and Queen of Cups. There's a new beginning that's taking place here. It's about taking that leap of faith. You are being divinely guided. You manifested this. Let's look at the strength card. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Hey, the ones. Beautiful. Been taking time out to heal, to reflect. Wheel of Fortune is coming in. It's right next to you here. You know, some of you could, this could be about work. Some of you are tarot readers or mediums out there or you're doing something. There's a new passionate start that's taking place here for you. You've been quiet about it. There is uh, abundance around you. There's stability. There's prosperity. Okay. Uh, messages are coming in. Uh, things are getting into alignment. It could be also, uh, this. whatever this is, it's long term. You have the fruit of life. It's long term, whether it's love, whether it's your happiness, your health. Okay, it's all coming in. Let's look at this Ace of Pentacles and what you're not seeing right now. The King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. You're being pulled to jump forward in a situation here. Okay, justice is coming in for you. It will be fair. Okay, things are coming karmically. Something is coming into like balance here for you. Okay. King of Wands, Queen of Wands is here. There's passion here. I got the King and Queen of Cups as well. Queen and King of Pentacles is here. I got the Queen of Swords. I don't have the King of Swords yet. But whatever this is, is that there's a bigger picture to this. And there's a leadership role maybe that some of you have to take. And there could be collaboration, teamwork. It's a strong foundation. It's coming in divine timing. So there's positive news and messages coming in here for you. And this is going to take place also. It could also take place now, but it could also be taking place when the North Nodes are shifting. So when Taurus and uh, Scorpio uh, change positions in, in July, at the end of July, I think July 24th, they go into Aries and Libra. Beautiful. Let's look at the Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Six of Pentacles. You have conflict over this. Maybe there's competition over this. There's drama over a situation. It could be your own inner conflict. It's important to open your heart and do the process of healing here, which you are doing. But you need to open your heart. And this card says it all. If you want to attract more of something you have to open your heart because something is coming into balance here okay again you got the justice card underneath 
Let's look at your advice with the world. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, The Lovers, King of Swords. You got the Four Kings and the Four Queens. You got one, two, <clears throat> three, four. Four Aces, 11, 11. Which reading did I do that almost resembled this? Some of you are Cuspers, uh, Sagittarius, and uh, Scorpio. So if you have Sagittarius placement, look at the Sagittarius reading. Yeah, you've been observant here. You know exactly what you want. You always attain what you want. There's going to be celebration. You've been putting a lot of energy into something here, and there's choices to be made. All right. <clears throat> One more card for the overview of everything. Are you holding yourself back? Four Pentacles showed up again. Justice is coming in here for you. You need to release people patterns, situations here. Whatever it is, you need to release them. Because beautiful things are coming for you. You're healing. You're healing here. Okay, communication is the key. You're going to better times and better places. Yes, it's in the unknown. That might scare you a bit. There could be fear there, based energy of fear. But the obstacles are gone here. And you are going to go to better times. So you might be relocating or moving. It's important to open your heart. And that's your message. So now we're going to take out uh, some charms to see if there's anything else I could give you in this reading. Okay. You've got a triangle with a circle in it. So a triangle with a cir circle in it will mean something for someone here. You got the infinity symbol. You got a butterfly. You got a cat. You got a uh, heart. No, the pentagram on wings. And you got the cross. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye.